Hey, this is Saskia Chiesa from Los Angeles Guinea Pig Rescue and I was like uh, recognized as an aspiring woman dedicated to guinea pigs which I think is so awesome and thank you and all of this uh, courtesy of KV Cages which I think is a wonderful initiative and I'm very grateful honored and humbled to be part of that I have done just about every single job you can imagine. I started when I was around 17 or so as a fashion model. I traveled Europe, I loved it, I met tons of cool people. Um, and then I, I did lots of things there too and I kind of didn't model anymore. I ran a nightclub, I, I actually was a, a, a editor at a press agency. I then moved to Portugal for a little while where I also did some journalistic work. I just like to go places and, and, and you know make something of it. And then I started about 19 years ago a logistics company that I mean, I started from literally nothing, I had no money in the bank, and I just started it. I had a three-year-old son, and I thought, man, I better get my together because I cannot raise my child on the minimum wage, which was $10 at the time. So I really gotta, you know, get it together. And, and I founded this company, and I worked really, really, really hard, and it became a big success. It really became a very big company. Um, I've won awards. I have won award of, you know, the best executive women in the women in business. But I thought, you know what, that's great. But I actually don't like this one. I want the one that is the best executive, where the boys are also part of the playing field. And I won that one too. So that was like, wow, that's the one I really wanted. I don't like being put in the box, like, you're a woman, so, you know, what's wrong with me? I'm a woman, so what, right? So yeah, I've run that company for about 19 years, and now I'm full-time focused on the guinea pigs, on the Piggy's Choice company that sells guinea pig accessories and also treats, just started selling treats. And um, uh, what else? Oh, I have a crystal shop also that I started on Etsy, where I sell beautiful, beautiful crystals. And I think that's it for now. That keeps me quite busy because I also, you know, these little guys keep me super busy as well. The fundraising of it, I mean, the whole running of the nonprofit, which is a business on itself. You know, I didn't really met the, my first guinea pigs until I was 18, can you believe it? We always had bunnies in my neighborhood. Walked in a pet store and I held a guinea pig and th that was it. I thought, my gosh, I had no idea that they were so cool and had all these amazing personalities. So uh, that guinea pig went home with me that night um, and soon more of her kind followed and uh, th that was it, that was it. And from that moment on, I had guinea pigs everywhere. I uh, lived in London for five years, I had guinea pigs there. Um, you know, and, and, and the minute I arrived in the US, I kind of started this rescue because there weren't any guinea pig rescues at all at that time for the whole of Los Angeles. Uh, even in the whole of California. Uh, no, that's not true. There was Wee Companions. She's kind of started at the same time. Fenella, who is a very good friend of mine. Um, so it was kind of me and her and, and we bonded over that and she's one of my best friends. You know, I think that by nature, uh, women are nurturers and times are changing. We are all becoming more aware that guinea pigs need more space and need have different needs than we used to think 10, 20, 30 years ago. Um, and women are on the forefront of that. And being nurturers also, we are definitely gonna make sure that we are gonna push that point because we want those living um, uh, circumstances improved for guinea pigs. So in that sense, I think it's very important that us women are, you know, hey, I know there's a lot of guys out there who love guinea pigs. I love you all, but the facts just show that it's that there are more women who are into guinea pigs. Uh, and I think that that is really 
a good thing for, for guinea pigs because we are by nature nurturers and we will be spreading the word about how to properly care for guinea pigs. So that, that's a good thing. There's a few things. I'm doing a lot of research, medical research with our veterinarian um, because there is really not much research done on guinea pigs at all. I mean, guinea pigs are really kind of like the throwaway pet. Or, or, or like the lab um, guinea pig that, that they're using in labs. Um, so, you know, nobody really cares so much. So no one's really doing anything or shining the light on guinea pigs or on their plight. So that is what I'm planning. So it's not just my local work that I do here, but I'm, I'm going to do some more national work to really, um, you know, I'm going to aim to get information out there that people might not be aware of about the mills, how guinea pigs are treated, how a lot of guinea pigs are sick when they're purchased from the pet stores, um, disastrous consequences for the families where they get their zoonotic diseases. I mean, that is what I'm working on right now. Just watch this space because it's, it's going to be pretty big. I'm always saying, you know what, don't think of yourself as a woman. You are a person. You're not a woman, you're a person. So you've got to think of yourself as a person in business. And I've always been very, very, felt very strongly about that. I don't want to differentiate myself like, oh, I'm a woman in business. It's almost like I'm saying, oh, I'm less than you already because, well, I'm a woman in business. So that is my advice to women in business. Don't separate yourself. I, I don't think about that. If there's a barrier, it's going to come and I'm going to overcome it. So I can't really start thinking, oh, there's a barrier somewhere and I know it's going to come. I'm just going to get scared of it. And in fact, I might even actualize that barrier. So I'm not going to think about that. I'll just deal like deal with it when it comes. That is fear is like the worst thing. Fear, you, will, you can actually materialize things the same way as I would materialize uh, some of my goals, actually, the positive ones. It's like I am seeing it in my head, that's my first thought, then it actually already exists if you think about it. It already exists and then I start building on from there until it is, it's there, I, it, you know, all the energies come together and it exists. So in the same way, you know, it works the other way around. Okay, honey. So don't, don't, don't be afraid of that next hurdle. You're just gonna jump over it when it comes, really. There's definitely, they are there, okay? Um, so what I did when I started my company and had to have meetings, and especially the logistics world is dominated by guys. I just, I didn't dress like this. I didn't try not to be too pretty. Um, I did dye my hair brown. I started wearing glasses just to get that misconception out of the way. Okay, she's blonde. Oh dear, she can be, can be very smart. Those misconceptions are very much alive, unfortunately. So I, I, did, I did change myself a little bit in order to not um, be judged in that way, to be taken more seriously. And that's why I was very happy not to have the company anymore so now I can just go back to being my, my, my cookie self and wear the silly things I like and my silly head things I wear and because <laughs> I could never do that before that. Well, the thing is, the problem with that is, is that people don't take guinea pigs seriously. So when you say, oh, I have a thoroughbred horse rescue. Wow, that's cool. Wow, you know, that's a cool thing. But when you say, I rescue guinea pigs, I have a rescue and this is what I do and, and I've dedicated my life to that, people look at you like, lady, you are, there's something wrong with you. Uh, and then they'll ask me, seriously, hamsters? <laughs> Which, that happens all the time. So, no, 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 I said guinea pigs, I didn't say hamsters, okay? Um, so yeah, being taken seriously because you know, she's crazy, but you must be a little something wrong with you because if you're that focused on or and you've dedicated your life to guinea pigs, right? Um, but I just laugh that off. I really do and go about my business.
you know, if I did anything differently, then I wouldn't be where I am now. Because everything combined that I did or didn't do, decisions I made or didn't make, brought me to where I am today. So I find that a really difficult question. Because if I had made done something differently, the whole outcome would have been different as well. So I can say that I probably have no regrets and I probably would do it all the same again. There is one thing though, as an entrepreneur, you tend to get very focused and single-minded. So one thing that I do regret is that at times I did not make enough time for my family. I'm very guilty of that and I'm very much aware of that. And that is something I do want to say to every aspiring entrepreneur and whether you're running a nonprofit organization, you're still an entrepreneur because you are running a business, is to make time for your family, okay? Because they're the most important things in your life. It's the most important thing is your family. Well, that would be Jane Goodall. I just adore the woman. Um, she was so instrumental in bringing knowledge about the chimps. Um, we didn't really know much about them at that point. And, and, and her research and her strength, her courage, how humble she is and how at her age she's still so elegant, eloquent and um, so sharp, you know, how she is still just amazing and oh, I just love her. You know, it's a quote actually. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's everywhere. I put it on the website as well. I'm just looking now to make sure I get it right because it will be terrible though I say it a lot. But um, it's a may, may all that have life be delivered from suffering. That to me is, is something I try and live by and is very important to me. And, and, and sometimes when I read it, I cry because we're so far from that. We're so far from that. And that, that, that is really important to me. Yeah, you know, kindness, compassion, and that every being should have a life without suffering. Well, thank you, everyone. And you. Yeah. Those are not for you. Those are fake. <laughs> Come on now. You gonna have? You wanna eat that? I'm just gonna pet you there. Maybe you'll stay still. With as a woman. And number two, in the guinea pig space. So these are kind of two questions.